In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up call only ads. And if you're not familiar with call only ads, these are ads within Google ads in which the only option that a user has is to call directly. So these only show up on mobile and essentially what happens is someone will do a search and then the ad will appear with the phone number, call to action and so forth. The user will click on it and then they'll be able to call directly to um, the service provider. So there's no landing pages involved. It's super simple. Um, so if your website is not fully optimized and you're trying to generate as many phone calls as possible, call only ads are definitely something to potentially test out and see if they work for you. I have personally found them to be effective more for um, emergency service-based businesses. So think locksmith, um, think um, like any type of repair, um, garage door repair, so forth. Um, so those are the type of businesses that I see perform really well for that, especially when people are not tied to a specific brand and they're looking for a specific service right away. Um, call only ads are definitely a great um, avenue to explore um, if you're trying to increase the number of calls coming from your ads. Now, I want to clarify that the difference um, or clarify that there's no such thing as a call only type of campaign or campaign objective. You can create a campaign with a bunch of call only ads within them, or you can just create a uh, regular standard search campaign with responsive search ads and call only ads and test them against each other. Um, it's really up to you how you want to go about doing it. Um, ideally, personally for me, I would go about setting up a specific campaign, calling it a call only type of campaign and testing it out within that. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna just show you how to create the call only ads within an existing campaign so you can see how you can go about creating the call only ads. Um, but if you wanted to create a specific type of campaign only for call only, you would set it up the same way that you would set up a regular campaign, but create specific call only ads within them. Or you can also put responsive search ads and call only ads together and test them out that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create call only ads um, in this video. It's super easy here. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go to a campaign that you already have set up. This is assuming that you already have a campaign set up. If not, you'll have to go through the entire campaign setup process, which is you know going to this plus icon when you log in, new campaign, and follow the steps from there based off of your objective. But in this case, I already have some campaigns, so I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and set up the call only ads within there. So I'm going to select an ad group here. Um, and then I'm gonna to go to the ads and assets section. Then what you're gonna to want to do is go to this plus icon here. Give it a second, it's loading. And then you're gonna have the option to create responsive search ads or a call ad. So this is the call ad option. So go ahead and click on call ad. And then you would just want to enter your details. So then in this case, I will put in the phone number, I would just Just put in some random numbers here. Uh, you would wanna format it in a way that looks good um, when someone's searching. So if you don't put the parentheses and you don't put the hyphen, it's not gonna look ideal. So you, and ideally, this is the format that I would put it in because this is the example that Google gave. Um, and then next we would put the uh, details for the URL, but remember you are not going to be sending traffic to the URL. It's just going to be when the user clicks on this, it calls this number directly. Um, so this is just so that Google can verify that you are a legit business and that uh, you know it's 
that it checks out when it goes through the specific verification approval process. Now, the next thing we're going to do is just put in a few headlines, nothing too crazy. Uh, note too that these call only ads are really simple. I think they're much more simple than responsive search ads because they're, um, it, it doesn't take up as much real estate, but it does tend to um, get decent uh, amount of traction here. So let's see. Okay, so let's go ahead. And I just wanna show you exactly what it looks like when someone searches. <clears throat> and then let's go ahead and drop in some descriptions here. So you get an option of two headlines and two descriptions. It's a lot easier than having 15 headlines and four descriptions. And then you would want to choose your conversion action. Here we want calls from ads, which is what I already have set up. And then save new ad. Da, da, da. URL has an invalid or missing top level domain extension. Oops. Sorry, I did that. Okay. Yeah, this verification URL should match what you have for your final URL. Okay, so apply and then it will be pending under review. So then this is what it would look like when it serves. So actually you do have the option to click and go to the website, but uh, you would have to click down here to go there. Um, so that's actually a change before it didn't have that option, but now they do. Um, so there is a phone, the phone number option here from the call only that most people will click on, but there is an option that if someone, uh, wants to go to your website, they can. I think um, before they didn't have this option, uh, but if you didn't want people to go to your main website, you don't have to put the final URL in there. So it is recommended, but it's just not necessary. If you don't want to drive people over to your um, website and potentially distract them, or if your website is poor quality and not uh, fully optimized, then you don't even need to put anything in here. It's not uh, mandatory. So then we can just save if that's not what you want. Um, we can put a verification URL, but it's not going to appear. And yeah, that's exactly what it would look like. Um, right here. Uh, if you don't want the final URL, if you want the final URL, it's going to have that on the bottom. Um, and yeah, that's essentially how it works. So if you have any questions about call only ads or how to use them, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up as well as please subscribe to this channel. Um, I post videos about Google ads every week and provide lots of great tips. So would love for you to join me and follow me um, on this journey. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you.